Hey, hey, hey. Time for another out of this world story from our space. Found out my girlfriend was cheating. I told her parents and might throw her stuff out. So I am 25 male and my ex is a 22 female. We have been together for five and a half years. In the first two and a half years, we have been living close to each other, basically living together from the sixth month. Then three years ago, I had to make a choice and I left my home country to come and work in the UK. I made this hard decision since we had no real future back at home. We could have something, but I knew it would never be as bright as it can be if we lived here. In the first three months, she was with me since it was the summer and her school was on pause. We lived and worked together. I got her first work experience abroad, but then she had to go back home to finish off the school. We have started to live in a long distance relationship. It was very hard in the beginning, but since we both really loved and wanted to be together, we made it work. During this time, I have completely changed for her. I lost 6.4 stones and dropped drinking completely. I started to live a healthy lifestyle and worked my way up in my career, even started university. All of it to be a better person that she deserves and to make our future even brighter. I was alone for the last three years without family or real friends in another country. The whole time I was working for this future and that kept me happy. Till the third lockdown. Till that point, we were able to meet every two months. On the first lockdown, I had to stay in the country for over five months. We had survived and we even got closer. On the second one, I was able to go home and we were together for a whole month. Everything was great. But on the third lockdown, I stuck here for almost seven months without seeing her. All of her friends were away and her parents were working most of the time. She was alone, just like me. She started to meet up with an old friend from elementary school. I told her that this is great and I'm happy for her because she doesn't have to be alone all the time. What else could I say? By July, we were finally able to meet. We have spent an amazing two weeks together. It is the kind of relationship where we could still make each other laugh in tears. Then she went back home. And four days later, she called me and told me straight away that they had a kiss with this friend. She told me that she could never look at my eyes again if she didn't tell me. And she wants to make this work. She was terribly sorry. I was fuming. But hours later, I called her and told her that I cannot talk about water and drink wine. It could have happened to me when I was lonely and somebody twisted my mind. So I have given her a second chance to prove to me that she really wants this. We have agreed that she will come back in August so we can make everything right. During that one month, she told me that she really wants to be with me and she can only see the future with me and whatever is between them, it is nothing like what it is between us. So she have arrived in August and I have organized everything, sleeping in a five-star hotel, having dinner on the top of the roof in London. Also bought her a watch, which had an engraving, every minute closer. She was here for two weeks and in this time period, I have tried everything to make her feel better again and to fix this. After the first week, we have broke up because she wanted to be alone for a bit while she finds out who she is without me. I understood and with pain, but I told her to go. I was her first and only relationship. She was crying during the conversation, so we broke up, but she stayed for the rest of the week since we already bought the tickets. During this week, one night, I have found out that she started to talk with this guy again. Turned out she could only stay no contact with him for two weeks. She was talking with him the entire time we were together. I woke her up and confronted her with the truth that I am not as stupid as she thought I am. She was raging. She claimed that she did not want to come at all. I just pushed her to come and it doesn't matter anyway because we already broke up and whatsoever. Blamed me for leaving her home and that I trapped her for three years and all what she ever wanted was a normal relationship. And then she finally left my bed. I could not understand how could she lie to me the whole entire time like this. After all this time, the next day they even talked on the phone in front of me before I went to work, in my house, in my bed. I didn't even upper my voice. Three days later I took her up to the airport because I promised her mother that I would take care of her and I just knew this is the right thing to do. After that we went no contact. Her whole family is supporting me. Her mom was crying for days. Everybody is upset and just can't understand why she threw away everything in the last six months of our long distance relationship. I have builded up a life here for us that was waiting for her. I just wanted to protect her and love her till the end. She was my best friend. And the reason why I'm going home next week is because I wanted to ask permission from her parents to propose to her. That's how serious I was. The guy she left me for doesn't even have a qualification for a job. He was the kind of guy we always laughed at. The whole situation is just unbelievable for me. I cannot understand how she can throw us away and her future. She had no plans either. How could she change so quickly? 
time for the reactions. OK Replacement 7697 says, It is sad that you have gone through this, but I no longer recommend that you try to reconcile since there is the possibility that she will approach you due to family pressure. I hope you keep updating to be able to help you in this. Badgerbrush20 says, Dude, don't change for her, change for yourself. You are only 25. You are doing a good job looking after yourself. Keep it going. Get fit, hobbies, journal, work on a career. When you respect yourself and at your best, you won't put up with women like your girlfriend. You learn to weed them out to find a good quality woman. In a few years, you will look back and see the red flags. Richie J 86 says, The person your girlfriend is now is gross. If air fog is bliss, but it's short, and once it's gone, she'll realize what she truly lost. I'm sorry you're going through this. You seem like you tried everything, and regardless of the outcome, you can live with the fact that you're the man any woman would be happy to have. It's her loss if she couldn't appreciate that. Once reality sets in, the glaring drawbacks will rear its ugly head, and it won't be good for her. She had everything in you, but was selfish and wanted more. Cheating is nothing but opportunity. You will scratch your head wondering what went wrong. What does the affair partner have that you don't? only to realize that it's not so black and white. What they have that you, unfortunately, will never have the edge on is the excitement of something new and the exhilaration of something forbidden. Yet, none of these things hold substance. They're only there until the time passes inevitably and those superficial things fail to hold weight. Your love, your attentiveness, and personality will shine through in the end. However, you shouldn't give them back to her. Then, she won't learn anything. The best thing you can do, as hard as it will be, is to move on. Share your life with somebody that appreciates you. One more comment before moving on. Lone Wolf 369963 says, Sorry that you have to go through this. It is clear that she was craving for attention this guy gave, followed by the motivation to persuade this affair from her friends. The fact that she gave up the relationship for this shirt attention shows that she isn't ready for the real relationship and reality of life. She's going to come back to you crawling soon because this guy is just a fling and as soon as the affair fog will go away, she'll realize that she traded gold for crap. Once she realizes, she will use every technique available to get you back. And when it happens, remember, when she couldn't wait for you while you were building a life for both of you, she doesn't deserve you when you had made that for yourself. Keep no contact and move on with your life. You deserve better. Good luck. On to the next story. Caught my 16 years girlfriend cheating. We met when I was 18. She was a bit younger. At first it was a long distance relationship so it was hard enough but eventually I managed to secure a well paying job in a different city and we both agreed to go and truly be together. I loved her with all my heart. Still do. Sure there were ups and downs and I'm not blind to her shortcomings but I always told myself that nobody is absolutely perfect and I love her in spite of whatever might have ticked me off. That you need to work in a relationship. Especially one so long. Still things got somewhat messed up because of the lockdowns recently. Me working from home, her having a lot of free time too but not really being able to go out. But that was coming to an end soon with lockdowns ending and our vaccinations complete. We planned vacations together in July. Week before that though, in June, she took two girlfriends and went on a short three days long trip abroad. At first, nothing was going on. She said she's missing me after half a day there and wants to come back there with me. Then the second day, they meet some guy in a bar. Good looking guy. She suddenly stops making contact for entire evenings and nights. But I didn't think much of it even when she mistakenly sent me some messages that wasn't meant for me. However, she comes home and starts acting strange, as if both sorry and angry at me at the same time. She hides some stuff on her laptop. She's with me in bed, but staying up very late messaging with someone with her phone and turned away from me. It went like this for a couple of days and I started to feel something might be up. I went through her laptop. I found messages she sent to her friends about kissing a guy, touching, all excited and almost proud of herself. When one friend asked her if she's remorseful, she just said that she regrets nothing, that she wished she wasn't on her period, and then messages with him, him trying to get her to bed immediately. She refused for now it seems, but kept writing to him when she got back. Things about kissing and falling in love and promises of coming back. Shattering. So I confronted her about it when she got back from work. She was sorry and remorseful for about three hours before relenting when I told her to go, stay with a friend or something. I gave myself some time to think about what happened, but suddenly, I got really scared that I just basically sent her away to be able to talk with this guy all she wants. I decided to tell her to come back, to try to work through this. But this was just a beginning of what was supposed to be a two months long festival of lies and mental torture. She wasn't showing any signs of remorse. 
avoided having any conversations about what happened. More and more, she would find reasons to leave the house, started taking care of her looks, buying new clothes, still acted suspicious with her phone, refused to delete this guy from her contacts. Obviously, I knew she was lying, or at least withholding the truth, by not answering questions and avoiding talks. But I so desperately wanted to get through to her somehow. I felt like I fell in love with her all anew. I was breaking down more and more, and she didn't seem to give much crap about how bad I'm feeling. In the end, things got so bad that we stopped talking at all. Well, since she didn't want to talk, I just wouldn't even try. Why bother if she just gets angry? She started to talk about taking a break, moving out for a month or two to get her head straight. So I got fed up with that, asked her if she's still even living here. We had a fight. She packed and left. We hugged, and she still kept saying that she's not moving out of the city, that I should write to her. It took about three days of that until I saw the new guy was back in her Facebook friends list. It made all the sense now. Her behavior and bad lies and pulling herself away, she must have been getting mentally ready to just let go. That was less than a month ago, and I went no contact after seeing that. I put some of her stuff she left at my place out for her, and I helped her move out most of it to her new apartment, in a last ditch attempt to see how she acts seeing that I'm better and more together, that I'm not full of hate, but that was to no avail. Outside of that, there was no talking to her anymore. I was starting to feel a little better day by day. Of course, the first days were miserable. I wanted to write to her, fantasize about her calling, coming back, saying she's sorry. Then I progressively got more tired of thinking of her and stopped being delusional. Not to say that I fell out of love or stopped missing her every damn second, but I've resolved to understand that there is no coming back from this. I deleted her from my contacts, made goals for myself and worked. And then Tuesday happened. Through mutual friends, I've unintentionally caught a glimpse of what she's doing. Not sitting at home alone, feeling bad. No, she took her friends again and went back abroad. To him. I saw her sitting right next to him, having the time of her life. I knew this might and probably would happen eventually, but the realization that not even a full month passed since she left, and that she actually went out of her way to book a flight and go bone some dude she barely knows was all too real. It also occurred to me that she made space in her calendar for these trips barely days after moving out. I'm all shattered to pieces once again, all the progress gone. I know she's there right now, might as well be having sex with him this very moment. I don't know how to cope with that. It's one thing to break up, to even know that there is someone else, but to have to sit there and know that someone you love is most likely banging right now. I don't know what to do. The thing is, I still have some of her things at my place. I want to be the bigger person here and just move on, but I don't want to see her and talk to her. I don't want her at my home taking anything. I'm torn between throwing her stuff outside the door in a rage or ghosting her entirely for as long as possible when she writes about getting those things. I don't really know how to end this post. I'm not used to writing stuff like this online, but besides maybe one or two good buds and parents I have, no one to talk this through. I don't want her back, but hoping for some sort of validation persists and doesn't let me sleep. Alright community, make him feel better. Dog Pound 2020 says, Don't even bother with the courtesy of returning her things. Why bother? Has she shown you any courtesy? Leave it outside with a mutual friend and let him handle it. Most likely, what is going to happen is this fling and that is truly what it is, an infatuation, will last a short time. From what you wrote, it seems there is a distance factor with this guy. I can almost bet at some point in the future, she will reach out when she realizes all it was was an infatuation, and for her to sample what's out there. You've dodged a bullet. If you take her back, what happens the next time she wants something new? Be no contact out of any logistical questions. And our last comment coming from Shai Shli. She wasn't yours, it was just your turn. Move on, better yourself, never look back. She may come back crying to you in a year or two. Don't bother ever getting back into the mess because it will just be your turn again.